you know, the way we work, you could say a lot of people confuse that with being um, overly pragmatic or technical, which is not at all the goal. For us, it's really to, to deeply investigate how you can make something that is logical within itself and therefore gets character. I am Winke Dubbeldam. I am the founder and partner of Architectonics that uh, started in 1994. And this is... Uh, Justin Kohammer and I became partner at Architectonics in 2016. 497 Greenwich was for a private developer from London. Uh, we found originally the building, it turned out there was a site next to it, so the concept became very quickly to leave the existing building and wrap a new building around it. We decided that through mathematical inflection you could have a ripple effect going down the facade that was much more interesting. We made seams between the new and the old that were negotiated by little balconies. I love the fact that 512 Greenwich is across from 497 Greenwich and that they kind of look over each other, almost like talking across from, from the street from each other. Yeah. The small townhouse that the clients had bought and because it is not a landmark, we were allowed to put three stories on top. But then when we realized that if you do that, the proportions are a little funny, uh, the decision quickly became that we could introduce a third building that we call a climate skin. And that climate skin uh, allows for balconies in the front of the building hanging out over the sidewalk. It, it constantly negotiates and allows privacy or no privacy, uh, heat or no heat, sun or no sun. So it's very controllable from the inside and for the inhabitants. It's an eight-story townhouse for one family with a glass elevator. Vestry Street was in a landmark district and also not in a um, residential area. So we've become quite good in converting buildings that are industrial areas. And we propose to take the two buildings next door and extrapolate the lines over our facade and make a pixelation out of that uh, with translucent stone, translucent glass and glass. Uh, so that the facade became really interesting for the people inside, but also for the neighborhood outside. So at night that building kind of glows through the stone, uh, but by day the building glows on the inside for the inhabitants. This is our big submission for the Asian Games 2022, a very large mile-long park, sustainable park, sustainable buildings. There's a shopping mall, open air, hockey stadium. This is supposed to be finished March 2021. Even if you have an idea, if you have a vision, you, you don't know where you're going to arrive two years later. And that's really what it's worth. I mean, it's, it's that sensation of exploration that makes it worth for the client, but also for us.